to set the RH sensor input you need to go to the menu section and enter into the factory mode enter the password as triple zero two you press enter and click on RH icon select the input setting as 0 to 5 this is a 1 to 3.6 volt sensor so here we are selecting the input as 0 to 5 volt select the input as 0 to 5 volt and uh, signal low and signal high range will be 1.00 and signal high will be 3.600 the range is uh, display range is 0 to 100 percent so select the input as range low 0 and range high 100 percent and it will be saved automatically by clicking on the back button showing the RH value for uh, compressor say if you want if you are using a compressor there are three types of compressor outputs uh, mode one is continuous on one is SV based on off and one is PV based on off in continuous on the compressor will be switched on continuously uh, after a given delay time is elapsed in SV based on off compressor will be uh, working in two zones heat zone and cool zone by uh, it will be remaining on uh, below the boundary set point which is of 45 degree and it will remain off above the boundary set point 45 degree of the temperature set point and will turn on after the delay time has been passed once the power is given and third one is a PV based on off mode here the compressor will work switch on and off once it crosses the temperature set point above temperature sp it will uh, turn on and below temperature sp it will be off first. in sp base on off mode the compressor is working in two zones one is single zone and one is dual zone in single zone the entire pid is uh, single for below heat zone and cool zone and if you select the dual zone uh, the PID will be working different for there is a different PID for cool zone and different PID for heat zone. For mapping section, selecting the mapping input, you need to press mapping button. Here it will there are three parameters configuration, temperature, and RH. In configuration, you have to select the type of mapping 4T plus 4 RH or 8T plus 8 RH. If you are not using a mapping section, just using a control board and HMI, select the input type as 0T plus 0RH. Right now we are using it as 4T plus 4RH. So we have selected the input type as 4T and 4RH. And by clicking on temperature input, for temperature inputs, you have to click on temperature icon. Select the input setting as a RTD PT100 since we are connected RTD PT100 sensor. This is a zero offset parameter to match the PV values with the mapping value. And if you want to give the alarm for the mapping section, click on alarm setting. Select the set value, alarm low value and high alarm, 28 and 32 degree. Hysteresis of 0 0.2 degree. If you want to enable the inhibit feature, click on inhibit. Or if you want to disable the inhibit feature, click on the disable function. Inhibit is a feature to suppress the false alarm on power on condition. If you click on enable, inhibit feature is for suppressing the false alarm on power on condition. If you select enable, the false alarm will not appear. If you are selecting dis disable, then on power on condition, if the temperature is low or high, it will show you the temperature in low or high mode value of the RH parameter so to click on RH icon select the input setting now here we have selected uh, same using the same sensor as the control sensor of 1 to 3.6 volt so we have selected the input as 0 to 5 volt signal low as 1 signal high as 3.6 display range low 0 and display range high 100 percent if click on next it will show you the mapping percent zero offset of each map right now it is 0 0 If you want to select the alarm, set the alarm for mapping unit, click on alarm setting, select the input as 
सेट दिया लो अलार्म एंड हाई अलार्म दिया वी आर सेट द लो अलार्म एस 58 एंड हाई अलार्म एस 62 एंड इनिबिट फीचर इज द सेम एस ऑफ टेंपरेचर फीचर सो हियर वी आर सेलेक्टेड एंड इनिबिट फीचर एस एनेबल फॉर लो एंड हाई अलार्म टू सेट द रिकॉर्डिंग इंटरवल ऑफ द ह्यूमिटम अल्ट्रा here we have to click on menu button and it will go, show the three parameters we have to click on supervisory enter the password as triple zero one here you have to click on recording section give the recording interval as whatever desired interval right now we are set as five minutes so every each record will be logged at every five minutes the device id is set as two and uh, alarm tower records if you want to enable or disable you can click on enable button or disable button if you want to delete the records from the hmi click delete button so all the records will be deleted from the hmi in operator parameters if you click there you can set the temperature set point here also and low deviation high deviation of temperature and rh if you want to log the uh, editing from the home screen changing the set point then you have to click on disable if you click on disable uh, home page you cannot edit the set point and if you click on enable sp edit on home screen uh, it will be able to set the set point from the home page if you are using a digital inputs of door open or water level you have to click on the respectable input for example if you are using a door open input click on door open and enable the door open as yes select the logic on switch either as switch open or switch close if you are selecting the switch close the door will be uh, give you open on detecting the close logic in the control board and it will give you alarm after a set delay time here it is a delay set of 60 seconds you will give the set as door open Start. now you show the door open feature in the control board here we are given a toggle switch of digital input of a this toggle switch is connected to, as a door input in terminal number 49 and 52 so right now door is in the closed position so it is not giving you an alarm it's not giving you an alarm door is in closed position so i will change the door position from close to open once it is detected as door open here it will give you a door open alarm status here it is giving in the messages door is open for more than set time please close the door and here it will show you the indication is door open in alarm section from close to open to close the alarm will be disappeared now door has been closed so alarm is also been removed well and power fail also you can enable the features by going in the respective section by clicking enable as yes and selecting the switch logic and for thermostat also by selecting yes and selecting the logic for battery section power fail click on power fail select the detection enable as yes and select the logic once the input is detected it will switch from the mains to battery indication and it will show you the switch of all the offers